If there was a flood, we would all come together overnight. We'd fill sandbags and would help people stay clear of the water. Because floods happen in an instant. Drought, on the other hand, drought creeps up on you and conditions develop over months. They can even last for years. We know in the Calgary region that there has been substantial multi-year droughts. And we also know that these could happen again as our climate continues to change. The city has prepared the actions and responses for a full-fledged drought. But what about as drought is creeping up on us? What we might call a pre-drought or what the city calls a drought advisory. This is where you could still water your grass, but the city is watching our water supply carefully with the aim of advisory being to reduce our water demand voluntarily instead of through mandatory restrictions. The actions we do or do not take in a drought advisory can have big impacts. Our actions could reduce our water demand enough to avoid implementing outdoor watering restrictions that would burden our citizens and cause stress to our businesses. Departments across the city are prepared with actions to both lead by example in reducing our water use and reduce the impacts of drought on our citizens. With a colleague, I conducted 16 interviews across departments all over the city to identify actions that they could take voluntarily to reduce their water use in a drought advisory, with the aim of these actions being to not majorly impact their business operations. Previous work done on this to identify how these departments use water allowed us to jump forward in conversations with the information we needed to get results. We also discussed tactics they might need for communications, when does an email need to come through, and what does that email need to say to be useful for, say, the roads department. Furthermore, is there work they needed to do to implement their actions, such as creating a new policy or training staff? We even went so far as to ask if there was conflicts between their operational responsibilities and our regulations. And as a result, I'm happy to say that every department committed to at least one action to reduce their water use, with most committing to multiple. The most common response to what could we do to reduce our water demand was, well, we will reduce our vehicle washing. Other actions included reducing the water needed for irrigation of aesthetic green spaces, such as flower beds or water fountains, and others included changing um, operational procedures like cleaning to use less water. We are now prepared with our actions to be implemented in an instant. We're ready to go to flick the switch on reducing our water demand and helping our citizens through the early stages of a drought. We have the knowledge, tactics, and internal relationships needed to protect our citizens' drinking water supply and our shared watershed. Thank you.